On Earth, there exists a unique place where huge tectonic forces are currently rifting apart a continent, the Eastern African Rift Valley. For tens of millions of years, the continental crust has been breaking apart along the fault systems under the action of extensional forces. On the northern part of the Rift Valley, in Kenya and Ethiopia, melting of the underlying mantle is producing vast amounts of magmas that are transferred to the crust and erupted at the surface. The act of magma production and associated volcanic activity is particularly important in Ethiopia. Along the magmatic segments at the axis of the main Ethiopian rift and the Afar depression, where the extensional systems of the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden and African rift are merging in a triple junction. In the Afar depression, everything at the surface and in the landscape is volcanic. This magmatic hotspot is associated with the upwelling depth of the Afar mantle plume. Melting of this deep mantle is producing volcanics particularly rich in volatiles. However, along these rift segments, most of the magma produced never reaches the surface. Magmas are stored in the crust within the volcanic plumbing system that transfers material from the mantle towards the surface. The flux of magmatic volatiles and CO2 to the atmosphere by this hidden magmatism remains enigmatic. A team of international scientists have been financed by the Lounsbury Foundation and the Deep Carbon Observatory to address this question in the active rifts of the Central Afar Depression. The field expedition started in Addis Ababa University, where European and American scientists met their long-standing collaborators from the Geology Department. So here, in the Afar Depression, such a magmatic rift is a unique opportunity to access, on foot, a place where you have this extension of the crust concomitant with production of magma. Most of the magmas which are produced in the mantle are transferred to the crust but are not erupted at the surface. Most of them are stored in magma chamber or are injected as dikes along the rift system and there they slowly crystallize and when they crystallize they are degassing all their volatiles and this is what we want to catch right at the axis of this magmatic rift the flux of degassing of these volatiles. The rift axis and uh, magma is degassing very deep. So we are collecting the gases that go through the crust to the surface. So the idea is that uh, the gas is concentrated and is going to invade this bottle. For the moment it is flowing through the tube and here I can open a valve 
and by doing that the gas is allowed to go into the bottle. After we collected the gas, we take all the bottle and uh, all the reservoirs back to the lab and uh, we start to analyze the composition of the gas. Uh, in the laboratory we will specifically be analyzing the noble gases and the noble gases are fantastic tracers and so we will use the noble gases to determine the origin of these uh, magmatic systems. To analyze the noble gases in the laboratory we first take the gas bottles we collected in the field and attach them to a purification line which will clean and remove any unwanted gas species from our sample. Once we have isolated the noble gases, we can then accurately determine their isotopic composition and begin to decipher the source of volcanism in afar. To measure the flux of CO2 degassed by the hidden magmatism trapped at depth in sills and dikes, the scientific team carried out direct measurements through the rift segment planes above the magmatic and hydrothermal systems. So what we want to do is actually quantify how much of the CO2 is coming out of the magma and actually coming up along these faults. To do that, we've been measuring uh, with the soil CO2 accumulation chambers. The CO2 that is trapped in this chamber will be diverted along these tubes here that you can see here. They will come into this machine uh, where it will be analysed using an infrared sensor which can measure the absorption of infrared based on the concentration of the CO2. And this will get us a flux of CO2 that's coming up from the ground uh, through time. And these contribute uh, to Earth's natural CO2 budget, uh, as, as do volcanoes as well. Coming back to the laboratory in Addis Ababa University, the scientists are mapping and analysing the CO2 and volatile flux that they measured in the rift systems. These new data will allow them to determine the importance of magmatic rifts on the global CO2 flux.